ओके मैम गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू द चैप्टर दैट वाज गोइंग ऑन यस्टरडे वे आई विल ट्राई वी विल ट्राई टू कंप्लीट इट टुडे ओनली एंड द चैप्टर्स नेम इज सिल्क रोड फाइंड व्हाट वाज शोन इन द चैप्टर द चैप्टर इज रिटन इन अ ट्रैवलॉग फॉर्म ट्रैवलॉग द नेम इटसेल्फ इज टेलिंग इट ट्रैवलिंग ए द Traveling is shown in the chapter. Whose traveling is shown? The writer's. He, the writer himself was going on a traveling, and two other persons were also with him. One of his friend was there, and one more person who was his guide was there. Fine. They were going to. They were going to perform a ritual that is called kora, and that is called kora. and that is done around mount kailash fine so this was going on the chapter and the whole journey the whole traveling is shown in the chapter that what kind of uh, difficulties they face uh, when they when they were going there fine so uh, now we are coming it just a second just a second let me see where we were hmm so we were on this paragraph tarchin did not look so horrible it was told in the last paragraph that actually the writer was getting uh, coughing problem or writer was getting breathing problem what kind of problem he was having that whenever he was lying on his bed then his nostrils were getting blocked fine but but whenever he was sitting up again and again when he sat that his nostrils blockage was cleared up fine so this kind of problem he was getting uh, getting the whole night at darchin the place that is named darchin at that place he was getting that kind of problem for whole night so he was just uh, having a fear in his mind that if i will sleep if i will lie on the bed it may be possible that i won't rise up again ki main shayad dobara uth hi na pau that kind of horrible idea was there in his mind so he could not sleep for the whole night he tried to sit uh, against the wall also he was thinking that he should take a little bit little bit rest but the idea that was in a, 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 that was in his mind could not and did not allow him to sleep उसको सोने ही नहीं दिया उस हॉरिबल आइडिया ने कि मैं कहीं मेरी डेथ ना हो जाए मैं कहीं मर ना जाऊं दैट काइंड ऑफ हॉरिबल आइडिया सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग अहेड डैचिन डिड नॉट लुक सो हॉरिबल आफ्टर ए गुड नाइट्स स्लीप इट वाज स्टिल डस्टी व्हेन राइटर नेक्स्ट डे व्हेन ही वेंट टू द मेडिकल कॉलेज ही टुक सम मेडिसिंस आफ्टर टेकिंग द होल डे मेडिसिन ही वाज सेइंग दैट he could sleep for the whole night ek pure din ka medicine course usne liya aur after that he could sleep for the whole night and when he was when he slept for the whole night soundly when he slept soundly for the whole night after that he was thinking now what was uh, what was showing that he he thought that when i could when i got a sound sleep after that टेंशन वॉज नॉट सो हॉरिबल फॉर मी बिकॉज आई गोट ए साउंड स्लीप हम जब भी एक रिलैक्स माइंड में होते तो हमें कई बार वर्ज सिचुएशन भी वर्स नहीं लगती है एक्चुअली यहाँ पर भी वही हो रहा है बिकॉज ही वॉज कूल माइंडेड दैट टाइम देन ही वॉज पीसफुल वेन ही गोट ए फुल नाइट स्लीप देन ही थॉट दैट डेंशन वॉज नॉट ए सच ए हॉरिबल प्लेस इतना गंदा भी जगह इतनी गंदी जगह भी नहीं थी जै ऐसे कि मैं मुझे पहले फील हो रहा था it was still dusty partially derelict and punctuated by heaps of rubble and refuse however it was it was dusty however it was dusty partially derelict derelict means kuch jo wastage things hoti hai that was really there uh, right now punctuated by heaps of rubble rubble bhi wahi hai ki uh, the waste of any building matlab ek tarah se uh, gravel you can say gravel means jo chote chote patthron ke jo tukde hote hain and refuse and garbage heaps were there in that area however all the things were same as he was describing earlier 
but the sun shone brilliantly in a clear blue sky and the outlook across the plain to the south gave me a vision of the himalayas now he was looking every physical situation was same means physically the surrounded area was same as the previous day but this day when he see that the sun was shining brightly brilliantly in a clear blue sky sunshine was there so he was very much aware about the surroundings that day and outlook across the plain to the south gave me a vision of himalayas when i watch when i saw in the direction of when i saw in the direction of south then i came a clear or a vision of himalayas i could see himalayas mountains from there only commanded by huge snow capped mountain gorla mandaka which just a wisp of cloud suspended over its summit summit is called the top most uh, top most position jo hota hai that is called summit summit means choti pahad ki jis choti ko bolte hain so he is saying commanded by huge snow capped mountain when he was uh, looking in the direction of that uh, himalaya then what he noticed that a huge snow capped mountain he could notice a huge snow capped means it was covered completely with snow and its name was gorla mandata then just a second aryan gautam take care of the class timing please you should be aware of the timing so with just a wisp of cloud means there was a uh, there was not a clear view of that it was just a wisp of cloud wisp matlab ek thoda sa uh, jaise foggy foggy sa area hota hai that was not a clear view okay and suspended over its summit we could see the summit summit means mujhe uski choti nazar aa rahi thi himalayas ki the person was saying the town had a couple of rudimentary general stores selling chinese cigarettes soap and other basic provisions as well as the usual strings of prayer flags in front of one man gathered in the afternoon for a game of pool the battered table looking supremely incongruous in the open air which <laughs> while nearby women <coughs> washed their long hair in the icy water of a narrow brook that babbled down past my guest house darchin felt relaxed and unhurried but for me it came with a significant drawback there was there were no pilgrims what the writer is saying the town had a couple of rudimentary general stores rudimentary means uh, when there is a general stores of daily uh, daily hamari jo daily basis ki jo things hoti hai that general stores were th- selling that kind of things means daily basis basic needs ki jo things thi they these general stores were selling those items and chinese cigarettes as like chinese cigarette as like soap and some basic provision what is provision provision yes does anybody know if you have noticed on the a uh, board of uh, the shops that sell chini chawal dal that is called provision store means the shops which are selling provision means ration ka saman jo hota hai that is called provision fine so these rudimentary shops were s- selling provision items also as well as the usual strings of prayer flags they were selling some prayer flags also flags already we have discussed that uh, for prayer we just keep or buy some flags and we offer to god hum bhagwan ko jo chadhate chote chote flags that kind of prayer flags they were uh, selling in front of one means in front of one general store or one shop men gathered in the afternoon for a game of pool means in front of a shop some some men were uh, some men were there they gathered and just a second Hmm. <coughs> in front of them 
they were gathered means some people were gathered and they were they were playing the game of pool the battered table looking supremely incongruous incongruous means it was looking like strange it was looking strange that people were people were playing that uh, pool game in the open area in that open area on the open area they were playing uh, pool games and it was really uh, just a, a, a strange for the person while nearby women washed their long hair in the icy water of a narrow brook that babbled down past my guest house and he was looking that near about his uh, guest house some women were washing their long hair in the babbled water babbled water hota hai jo that makes a sound sound karte hue jo water chal raha hota hai move kar raha hota hai in that icy water some women were washing their hair long hair darchin felt relaxed and unhurried darchin was for the author it was felt relaxed when no one was in hurry everyone was very cool minded and peaceful environment was there it came with a significant drawback but for me there was a drawback of this it's this place there were no pilgrims means i could not come across to a pilgrim what is pilgrim who is a pilgrim han ji a single question to you people who is a pilgrim the person who goes for pilgrimage matlab tirth yatra pa jane wale logo ko hum pilgrims bolte hain the people who go to pilgrimage that is called so because that was a tirth uh, tirth place bol sakte ho aap use kailash mansarovar jiski baat kar rahe hain hum yahan par bar bar mount kailash fine so and the person was going there means the writer was going there so it can be called a pilgrim you can say fine he was also a pilgrim i would ha- i would been told that at the height of pilgrimage season the town was bustling with visitors many brought their own accommodation and enlarging the settlement round its edges as they set up their tents while spied which spilled with uh, which spilled down on on to the plain i would timed my arrival for the beginning of the season but it seemed i was too early what was told what has been told i would been told writer was saying it i could i came to know while reaching that area that at the height of pilgrimage season means when the pilgrimage season was going on, goes on in that area means of aise jaise ki uh, when there is a hot season in our area when there are some hot months in our area in this uh, rajasthan area we can say then people go for traveling in hilly areas why so there is a particular season for each and everything and here also there was a season means pilgrims ka ek pilgrims par jaan pilgrims ka ek season hota hai yahan par bhi the town was bustling with visitors and when this season comes then this town is bustling means there is a there is a lot of crowd in that area means lot of visitors come many brought their own accommodation and sometimes they do not get any accommodation in that area so they bring they bring their own accommodation they bring their own accommodation means they bring their own tent and they just settle that tent round its edges at this set up their tents which spilled down to the plain in that plain area wherever they wherever they get a plain area they just put their tent and they live inside those tents for some days i would time my arrival for the beginning of the season and what i did why i could not get any pilgrim because i could not time out my journey i could i was before the pilgrim season there i was 
in that area i came before the season but it seemed i was too early it, the person the writer was too early when the season did not start actually the season did not start but the writer reached it to the pilgrimage that in that area that's why he could not meet any pilgrim one afternoon i sat pondering my options over a glass of tea in darchin's only cafe after a little consideration i concluded there were severely limited clearly i hadn't made much progress with my self help program on positive thinking what the writer is saying one afternoon means it he was staying in darchin only he was in that area for some days he stayed one afternoon when he was sitting i sat pondering my option i was just thinking pondering is called thinking he was thinking about his option over a glass of tea he was taking tea also while taking tea he was thinking about his option what kind of option he was thinking in darchin's only cafe he was sitting in darchin's only cafe only a single cafe was there in darchin and he was thinking about his his options what kind of option after a little concern consideration means kya kya options available hai unke paas ki kaise how can he complete his ritual of kora those options he was thinking that how i will be able to complete so after a little little consideration i concluded there was severely limited just a minute so after a little consideration when i was thinking or when i just concentrated on the uh, on the options of uh, that uh, problem i concluded i came to a conclusion they they were severely limited means my uh, severely limited means bahut hi kam options available the mere paas that how good i complete my kora clearly i hadn't made much progress with my self help program self help program means the th- the programs that could help us as like meditation program with the help of these kind of programs we can keep ourselves positive so he was saying that i made i hadn't made means now the self help program which i used to do which i continue in my personal life it was also not able to give me some satisfaction means jo meditation type things wo karta hai apne aap ko positive banaye rakhne ke liye unse bhi zyada help nahi mil pa rahi thi writer ko because he was not having any option koi option nazar nahi aa raha tha unhe actually ki kaise main kora perform karunga apna in my defense in my defense it hadn't been easy with all my sleeping difficulties but however I looked at it I could only wait the pilgrimage trail was well trodden but I did not fancy doing it alone the kora was seasonal because parts of the route were liable to blockages by snow I had no idea whether or not the snow had cleared but I wasn't encouraged by the chunks of dirty ice that still clung to the banks of Darjeeling brook since satin had left I hadn't come across anyone in Darjeeling with enough English to answer even this most basic question. What the writer is saying in my defense, in my defense means in his favor, it hadn't been busy. It hadn't been easy with all my sleeping difficulties. He was facing some sleeping difficulties also at that place. Sometimes he was having. but however i looked at it i could only wait when i was looking for the solutions when i was looking for the conclusion that how i will be able to complete my kora only a single thing came in my mind and that was only wait that i should wait for some time the pilgrimage trail was well trodden means till the time when the pilgrimage trail trail is called path will be well trodden well trodden means a lot of people will come when the people will come then till then i should wait for 
wait to perform my kora. But I did not fancy doing it alone. Because one major thing was that he did not want to perform it alone. He did not. He was not having any choice that he wanted to do it alone. He wanted someone else with him to perform that kora. And the kora was seasonal because parts of the route were liable to blockage by snow. Kora, the tradition of kora is seasonal. People go in a particular season in that area to perform kora. Why? Because the routes are blocked due to heavy snowfall. The, the routes were liable to blockage by snow. Means particular time, at a particular time of year, the routes get blocked. So when the routes are cleared only in that uh, time, the kora can be performed. But just a second. I had no idea whether or not the snow had cleared. I was not having any idea because he went in that area for the first time. So he was not having any idea when the snow will be cleared. When the people of that area or when the authorities will clear the ways or the paths. Uh, but I wasn't encouraged by the chunks of dirty. But I wasn't encouraged also. Means because... Each and every path was blocked by the chunks of dirty ice. Means the pieces of uh, big dirty ice were scattered over the area. That still, still clung to the banks of Darchin's brook. Darchin's, Darchin was having a brook. Brook is called a river kind of uh, river kind of uh, river body jo hota hai, water body jo hota hai, that is called brook. So Pieces of ice were clung. Abhi tak bhi latke huye the. Abhi tak bhi vaha par pieces of ice bade bade rocks the ek tarah se. Since Satin had left, Satin had left because Satin has had left him already. Why? Why he had left? He told that he could not help the person now. After when after taking the medicine, after taking after consulting the doctor, he Satin had left that person. And I hadn't come across anyone in Darchin. Now the writer could not get any person in Darchin with enough English who used to speak English. So he was facing really, he was facing a lot of difficulties because he was an English person and no one was there in that area who could speak a little bit English even. To answer even this most basic question means his basic questions were unanswered that time. Because no, not a single person was there in that area who could speak a little bit English. So, now, I think that the time is over. So, we will continue the chapter tomorrow. A little bit chapter is left. Most probably it will complete in tomorrow's class. Bye-bye, all of you.